The Geek Culture Podcast is intended for mature audiences. The views and opinions expressed are those of the panelists and do not reflect in any way those of the podcast partners, sponsors, or affiliates. Enjoy. What's up, guys? This is Pat from Geek Culture Podcast. I'm so fucking drunk. Um, hilarious tarot cards for every situation. Sorry I had sex in your bed. Seriously, you're cute. Parking tickets. I don't fucking know. But I'm going to hand out these girls. I might get laid. Probably I will. I'll probably get laid. Anyway, Excellent Adventures. We're here at Excellent Adventures, man. They love us. We're out in front. We're doing it. We're riding around. We're getting it. Everybody, let's do it. Here we go. Oh, it's free comic book day. Hi, everybody. It's free comic book day. You can get two comic books? I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> yeah, baby. Yeah, 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 baby. Part, um, part hey, two. Everybody. Yeah, part two. Here we are. Here we are. What's up, man? How's it going? What's Good, in the man. bag? Good, man. You going to comic book day? Yeah. Nice. Get free comics. Free John's comic man. Books all John's day the man. Yeah, yeah. It's got uh, no, actually new, uh, new Fifty Two rhymes. There's a uh, there's a Batman Beyond that's in the New Fifty Two, which actually looks pretty cool compared to the rest of the books that are out there. Thank God Tom but knows hey. what he's talking about because I don't know what the fuck New Fifty Two even is. <laughs> this guy's smart. He knows what he's talking about. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Be honest, <laughs> you, know, you know what I mean? New Fifty Two. All I know is it rhymes, right? Am I right? All right. Yeah. Ca- well, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, shit. Continuity, dude. Continuity is such a big word. That's an <laughs> awesome word. You're fucking smart. You are one smart motherfucker. Hey, enjoy free comic book day. Welcome to Geek Culture Podcast, everybody. What the fuck? I'm so drunk. <laughs> Can I tell you? That guy hasn't showered in four weeks. <laughs> that motherfucker. Did you see his sweatshirt? That motherfucker hasn't showered in so long. Did you see the shit that was on his sweatshirt? It looked like somebody threw up on the front of his fucking sweatshirt. It looked like his fucking mother brushed his teeth every day. He's like, oh god, damn. My mom brushes my teeth. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Oh, slow it down. I want, I want to introduce you guys to uh, the newest, the newest addition to the Geek Culture Podcast. This show is not called the Geek Culture Podcast anymore. It's called the Pat Show. <laughs> oh no, what do we call this? Pat, what do we say before the? <laughs> I don't fucking know. I think it's, I think this is called uh, Pat Pat Culture. <laughs> I did so many shots at the bar. <laughs> <on> the <street. laughs> so many shots. So many shots. We you really can look over here, sir. Sir, you can look over here. It's okay. It's fun over you here. You just be really quiet Come and on. stare at him. Just look over here. You just know you do want this. to. All right, call it a day. Go home <laughs> with your wife that doesn't like you. <laughs> <laughs> you bald son of a bitch. All right, all right, all right. All right, so what guys. Are, what's up? What we are, are the Geek Culture Podcast. What are we doing? That was a terrible decision. Um, so if you guys listened last week, that was part one of uh, the Geek Culture Podcast live from... Excellent Adventures Comics in Boston Spa, New York, for free comic book day, May third. So this is uh this should at least be probably this would probably be today should probably be the tenth, right? To have it seven days later, tenth. Yeah, what? I'll probably put it out on a Saturday. Hope oh, you guys yeah. were from the future. Oh you're yes. We're we're so recording. We can only tell you things in the past. Uh no, free comic book day, guys. All right. Okay. All right. Cool. Um, yeah. So during our uh, during our elongated break from uh, from recording, we had the uh, brilliant idea to actually, if you listen to the past pod, walk across the street to White House. Yeah, uh, White House represent. Um, oh, so dude, I'm. I what? apologize. I'm talking too much. This is your podcast. This is, no. Sh- no. Shut up, dude. Tell us what we did. No, I'm not telling you. You need to talk. I, I'm telling you, I'm good for. I'm good for like. I'm, I'm not doing it. One, two, three. I'm not doing it. Oh, fucking a. All right, so, <clears throat> all right, so we went across the street. There's a bar across the street. We got so many, so many shots, double shots, uh, double shots. That's all I gotta say. People are waving. People are fucking waving. We're so famous. Oh, oh yeah, we are. <laughs> I'm gonna beat you this podcast. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Hey, I, I'll be you. Hey, hey, you guys. I got this. <laughs> He's got the pat face on. Pat oh, face. Oh, it's oh, never oh, catching oh. on. Nobody wants to look like Let me. Let me take a picture. <laughs> yeah, let's take a picture. Oh. Let's take pictures. Pictures. <clears throat> everybody pictures. Uh, nobody. Everybody, hey, everybody smile. Nobody's a... Uh, I got a... 
form sentences. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Uh, Son of a bitch. I no. got, so I went over there and I said, I got hi. Oh, she likes us. All right, so um, we, um, I went over there. I got, a, I got a shot and I got a beer. And I said, excuse me, I would like you to buy a shot and a beer from my friend across the street, Tom, because we're working so hard in the street. We're working really hard over here at the, uh, at the uh, free comic book day. Um, outside of Excellent Adventures, and um, and we need a little drinky drink. And she said, I will do that. I said, please charge my credit card, and she did it. And um, and then, on top of that, and she's not going to listen to this podcast, and neither, this isn't going to get the White House in trouble. Maybe it will, but I seriously doubt anybody fucking listens to this. I went over there with a coffee cup, and I said, excuse me, um, we have a long day ahead of us. It's freezing outside, and it's raining. I would like you to pour my friend... Tom, a double shot of Crown Royal in that coffee cup. She was like, I can't really do that. The owner is here today. The owner is here. I said, please, 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 we have such a long day. And I, I did like my little blinky blink, like, you know, all girls do to guys, but I can do it to girls because I'm fucking sexy. And she poured a little double shot in the Crown Royal for Tom. So now we got a little, and then I did a um, another double shot of Fireball. Tom, have you ever done Fireball? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> you fucking son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. Don't wait. <laughs> Go! I didn't know blind ladies Go, could drive you cars. you fucking dumb bitch. <laughs> Tom almost made a lady crash into a fucking wall. <laughs> Can't keep her eyes on the fucking road. <laughs> We're like a parade over here, aren't we? It so, turns out so anyway, that so I'd, like to, I'd like to give a shout out to White House, uh, the bar in downtown Boston Spa. They're, they're wonderful. And I hear the pizza's really good over there. And uh, by the way... They are wonderful. They make pizza? And shout out to Stephanie at White House, Boston Spa. <laughs> yeah, they make no apparently. I don't think they make no, pizza. Stephanie said it's really good over there. Stephanie said it's it's excellent. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you fucking listen to Stephanie now. But we got so many shots from Stephanie. So, oh, that crown is really good. Just drink it. Oh my god, that's awesome. Just shut up and drink I, it. Can I have a sip? You've had you've literally had eight shots I'm so wasted. in a half an hour. It's my first day off in a month. Put on the pet face. I don't have to put on the pet. I got the pet face on right now. <laughs> if we don't get somebody to interview soon, I'm going to fucking flip my lid. Hi. Come over here and get interviewed. No, you're power walking. All right. <laughs> oh, ch- children, you got to behave. Yes. What's going oh. on, bud? Did you get free comic books? What'd you get? Oh, Rocket right. Raccoon? Yeah, yeah. Very cool. Awesome. Did you get this one? Uh, did you get Buck Rogers? Here, you want it? Get it. Take that Buck Rogers one. That's for you, man. Keep it, keep it, keep it. Cool, guys. You got another <laughs> one. Free comic books all day. You guys want another one? Here you go. SpongeBob. <laughs> you like SpongeBob? There you go. You like SpongeBob. Uh, Take right. care, guys. Oh, sh- another one. Teen Titans to go? You give yeah. away free things and people come. Thanks, all bud. All right, guys. See you have, later. Have a good free comic book day. Tell your friends. We're, uh, we're child friendly. I hate kids. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just kidding. I love, I love kids. I love them. As long as they stay in egg form. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to throw up. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Is that a fucking lamp shop across the street? <laughs> There's a fucking lamp store across the street, too. Oh, no. shout out to the lamp store. <laughs> no, I know what we're doing after the podcast. <laughs> Don't buy a fucking lamp. Oh, my God. You know, what? when I was like, we should probably get way more drunk and start podcasting. You're like, yeah, dude, let's do it. I'll do eight shots in a half an hour. I didn't believe you. I did it. And you fucking did it. I told you, I'm getting it. Riding around? Oh, those kids are so happy. Those little guys. Got some cool books. Yeah, man. You should probably take this Uncle Scrooge one and oh. at least write him a thank you for all the sponsorship he did two podcasts ago. Oh, is that the... Uh, yeah, I remember her. She was the witch from Scrooge McDuck. That bitch. I hated her. Yeah, nobody really I, liked I her. love to hate her. I love oh, to dude, hate dude, 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 dude. Should we... Uh, let's try I to like hit up some news. All my ex-girlfriends. I love to hate them. Really? What? Except, oh. ex- <laughs> except, except for one. Except for one. I love to love her. No, I, oh, that's, oh, can you d- edit that out? No. <laughs> can you edit that? I don't even know who you're talking about. You're the only one that knows what you're talking about. No, right? You're at the point in your drunkness that you're the only one that knows what's going on. Yeah. You want to make a friend? Yeah. Go. Oh. Yo, Batman. 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 
Batman. Do I get on a podcast? Yeah, turn I'm on the mic. Fuck, bro. Turn on the mic. You look interesting. Turn this mic on. There's oh, community shit. headphones right there that oh. nobody's worn so far. Oh, I dropped my shitty Scrooge McDuck. How come you? How come you weren't going? How can, come? Can how you hear us? Yep. All right, cool. How Are you come talking you? to that mic? We should be able to hear you. No, you're good. It should be good. All right. Can you hear yourself? Oh, shit. Yep. Hang on. Oh, no, dude. You're like way too close. All right. All right. You're good. We're getting guests. We're stealing your customers. That's right, man. <laughs> Old friends. Oh, good, Don't good. Curse. <laughs> Don't curse on this podcast? Yeah. I just actually threw up on the microphone. I think you can curse. Oh, Sweet. no. <laughs> <laughs> I'll look at that. That's all right. That's all right. Yeah. Cool. I'm getting pizza. Pepperoni or cheese. What do you guys want? Oh, I do. I don't care. We're yeah, on any- a liquid diet from the White House right Anything now. Anything is good. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, uh, you have cheese. it right now? I'm getting it right now. Cheese oh. is good. I like yeah, cheese. 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 Yeah, cheese. Yeah. Thanks, man. Cool, man. Good hey, man. We have a we have a fucking person talking to you, dude. Yeah, we're trying yeah. to interview somebody, Matt. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Come on, Matt. Hello, geek culture. Yeah, it's <laughs> my good. boy. All right. Representing. All right. He hey. owns he actually owns the store. No. <laughs> He's gonna kick us out of here in five minutes yeah, if we don't man. behave. <laughs> What's your name, man? Chad <laughs> Wallace. Chad Wallace. Jack Chad, Wallace. Nice to meet you. What's going on, man? Are you here for free comic book day? Of course. Jack Walsh? Chad. 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 I'm drunk as shit, dude. I'm sorry. <laughs> he, he's one of my first customers. Oh, really? First customer. New Jersey nice. customer? At this place. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Excellent. Excellent. Awesome, man. Do you know what you're picking up? Have you seen the books? I've seen the books. Um, we were down in Albany, started there, and coming up this way, we're going to hit every comic book shop on the way. You're the nice. man. Where'd you guys swing out to in Albany? Um, Zombie Planet and... Earth World? Earth World. Very cool. What'd you pick up there? A ah. uh, couple of good ones. Yeah? I um, was really looking forward to the Bongo. Oh, yeah. It's like... Um, I don't know what that is. Did they have the hard covers there? They had one. It counted as a... Uh, as Three? A two oh. Did you two get comics. it? No, I didn't. I kind of want it. I don't know anything about it. I know John doesn't have it here. Um, and I, I'll, say th- I'll say this again. Contrary to popular belief, free comic book day... <clears throat> It's not free to the owners of the store. No, yeah, they have to buy the books. Spend some yep. money. So spend some money in their stores. But um, that's one book that he didn't he didn't pick up. Um, but I did want to see what it was. It was like the first time I ever saw a hardcover book. I wasn't able to actually open it because they had it saran wrap. Oh really? Oh, that's weird. Whatever. That's weird. Hi. They don't do that here. Take John. pictures of them. Tag them on. Tag them on Facebook oh, yeah, and Twitter him. and shit. Get get him in here with us because we make them look good. Oh man, oh, let's pretend yeah. like we're talking about something important. We talk about important things. No, right. we don't. We talk about garbage. Yeah, yeah. and we're usually we're podcast. usually really bad with our our accuracy and facts too. Yep. Cool, that's, man. That's what you have a phone for. Oh, <laughs> no, dude. Yeah. All of our news is old, and people have already talked about it. We're just here for free drinks. Yeah, <laughs> there you so go. You got the Batman shirt and hat on. Holy shit! Look at this guy. What's like underneath? Kn- What's that? Tell me what movie this is from. Uh, f- I don't know. It's creeping the shit out of me, though. A uh, clown? What? The- oh God! From outer space? Yes, it is. Yeah, that's. that's uh, right. Thomas so smart. Right? He, he's the good. brains of the operation. Uh, yeah, probably. Oh, I'm pretty sure all my brain cells are done right now. I just now. sit here with my big dick, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, I got a big dick. <laughs> that's we, what we got here. Can we it's talk a, about that? It's a radio show. That's about this guy's dick. Moron. Hey, I'm, a, I'm an absolute moron. Cool, man. Um, was was that your kid right there? Uh, he's yeah. gone now. He's like, I don't know. Yeah. I don't he, know where my he kid is. <laughs> he's like, I got many kids. I don't know which one you're talking about. I got like four. <laughs> Bad I, first impressions right here. <laughs> I just no. He, this guy loves me. I'm a good guy. <laughs> is that, what did he pick up? Uh, <laughs> he he usually picks up like the Avengers and Teen Titans. All right, so like Teen that. Titans. There's one. There was one this year, but there was yeah. no. There was no Avengers. There was Rocket Raccoon and uh, yeah, Guardians. Yeah. Did he get that? He did. Good. I, uh, <clears throat> I picked them up myself. My wife doesn't really participate in it but she gets the extra comics for me. typical woman nice oh good yeah, yeah. at least she sticks around to get yeah, some free comics. Yeah. support support it's good all man. about support you got to bring a crew with you to get all of them oh, of course <laughs> <laughs> Oscar wants to do. Yeah, right? <laughs> they don't like comics and whatever yeah did you see the uh, amazing spider-man 2 yet not yet we're actually gonna go oh. to the drive-ins they open up this weekend the uh, multi ones drive-ins. yep very cool I what's, the, what's the second movie it always uh, sucks it's RoboCop and oh my god, no worry. Uh, Spider-Man then. RoboCop Rainbow and Spider-Man. That's like a fucking. That's a wet dreams. RoboCop and Spider-Man. God damn. And is there a third? No, nope, just the two. And okay. then um, the second screen is going to be uh, Winter Soldier and Rio Two. Oh my god. Uh, I don't know about Rio Two. 
You can have it. <laughs> you can't watch the two Marvels at the same time is what they're doing, right? Yeah. That sucks. But RoboCop and Spider-Man, that's going to be awesome. That's going to be great. See, I was actually upset because I picked up Ro- the original RoboCop from you know, when we were kids. Yeah. yeah. And I actually got ID'd for it. Really? What do you mean? Are you kidding me? Apparently it's because I completely forgot the fact that in the very beginning, like the first 10 seconds. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That was oh, upsetting. Titties. Yeah. Yeah. Thank God. Oh, no, no. Oh, I thought you it's meant when he get, the guy gets shot. No. That oh, was no. upsetting. It's all about boobs, man. Yep. Yeah. I like titties. Movies, you, titties. So you haven't seen the new RoboCop either, right? Not yet. Yeah. Um, I heard it's more it's more focused on uh, the relationship between him and his ro- wife and like the situation that they go through. But uh, good movies, all in all. I'm, I'm pop- I actually haven't seen that reboot. Maybe I'll go to Malta. Maybe I'll go to the drive-ins tonight. I had yeah. a bad experience there once. What? I what happened? <laughs> his, his boyfriend wouldn't it's make funny. out with him. <laughs> it's his, it's funny. His boyfriend you was like, I'm not giving you the dick tonight. He's like, please give me the dick. This is why we can't be outside when children walk by. They have helmets on. They can't hear me. Yeah, because helmets. That's why she wouldn't look at me. She had two kids. I was checking her out yeah. earlier. I'm like, why won't she look at me? She you better hope that's not his wife. Two yeah, kids and a like, husband. Fuck, like you were in this whole thing. I went and saw um, Transformers. And Transformers at a drive-in screen is too blurry. To really understand what's going on, especially if you sit close to get the full screen. Yeah. And I was like, like shit was moving and transforming. I was like, what the fuck is going on? Like, I'm l- I'm watching the giant screen. And it's just like moving blurry metal. So I I'll have to give it another shot though. Well, see, for me, it was it was raining when I saw the transformers. That oh, sucks too. Yeah, sucks. Tonight might not be your night then. This is part two of our, our first recording. Our first recording's a lot uh a lot more intact because we weren't drinking prior to it. So I mean Yeah. Thanks thanks to the White House. I can need to get more drunk. That's the problem. Yeah, man. that is the problem. Do you think you're gonna be able to handle the podcast for like two minutes while I- No, we'll take a break if Stephanie, we need to. Alright, Stephanie pours shots from your He's real on fast, a first though. name basis with the bartender over there. Nice. Yeah, yeah he's my buddy. Yeah. You did go. you did you swing in excellent adventure yet? Or are we hold? Oh, I, dude, I, I don't mean to hold you back. It's oh, you gotta day. go you in. Should. All day. Yeah. It's an all day event. All right. What time does it go till? Um, six, five, I five-ish. I think is so. it really? I don't Make know. sure you go get a go get a Senate book. Go get a Senate yeah, book. Yeah, we yeah. have. I, I kind of wish we got him on the first pod to I be try, able to I interview him because right it, now yeah. we're just gonna be assholes. Oh, I want to get no, no, no. I'd be, I'd more, be very respectful. I would be. Is I would it? be really respectful. It is. I would be respectful. It's more fitting if we're assholes. <laughs> I would be Thanks, really man. respectful. I like that you don't know us. I'd be like, Joe, so really, so how many girls have you fucked? I mean, honestly, because your name is Joe Senate, how many girls have you fucked in your day? Thank Christ right? that I'm the editor. Of Do you this. know how much? <laughs> I mark it and I go, all right, well, i got to edit that part. Like, no. <laughs> leave it all in. Be real, bro. Oh, be man. real. There's a guy smoking crack across the street. Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> you know he's just smoking. Not true. <laughs> It's a giant Uh-oh. crack pipe. Uh oh, you're in trouble. No, oh, no, no, no. He wants you inside. Hey, go. Oh, uh, he wants you inside. Dude, thank you for stopping by. Yeah, thanks uh, for stopping by, man. And talking and, and at least humoring us on how nice cool we you. are. We all know the truth. Oh, man. That's a money book, too. That's going to be collectible. Scrooge McDuck. I was actually looking at that and started reading it in the van on the way here, actually. How was it? It was actually pretty interesting. Man? I like them. Cool. Oh, oh this guy. All right, so on that note, pizza is here, and we pizza. will be. Ba- we're gonna take a break, and we'll be right back. Say bye, Pat. Bye, guys. What's going on, guys? This is Tom from the Geek Culture Podcast. I just want to send a quick thank you out to our friend John, owner and operator of Excellent Adventures Comics in Boston Spa, New York. Um, without him, uh, we wouldn't have been able to record this amazing podcast, which features. Uh, interviews from Joe Sinnott, and later on we have Richard Clark, and there's just a lot more fun coming up, and thank you so much personally to him from us, so go visit him at uh, 110 Milton Ave, Route 50 in Boston Spa, New York, and find out more about him at www.excellentadventurescomics.com. What's up, guys? CJ from the Geek Culture Podcast. Do you like vintage video games? And I'm not talking N64. I'm talking all the way back to the Atari. Do you like playing video games how they were meant to be played on the old boxes you remember from the arcades? Well, you guys got to stop by Forgotten Freshness at 127 Saratoga Avenue, Mechanicville, New York to visit their awesome expo of video games from your past and tell Frank the Geek Culture Podcast set you I'm going to my buddy's benefit. He got hit by a car on Route 9N. Oh, shit. What the fuck? Wait, wait. And what's happening tonight? Tonight, I'm going to get my ass softened. Wait, wait. Your ass sucked? I'm going balls deep. What's going on with your dick? You got his ass sucked? 
I'm gonna jerk off with it until some girl fucking sucks to come out of it. I'm gonna fuck it till it. <laughs> what are you talking about? This guy's. What's in the What's in the bag? What's in the box? This guy's got cookies and a bottle of wine. <laughs> he knows what bitches like. I'm gonna fuck her in the ass till she comes. Girls got cookies. <laughs> dude, thank you. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> dude, thank you so much. Life. What's up? 107.7. Pause on spot. 107.7. Metallica. <laughs> oh, you're the man. Started All right, I'm starting over now. Start it over, motherfucker. All right, you ready? Start it over. I don't want to be that guy in Boston Spot. All right, give me a second. I got to hit. You ready? You're a liar. Go. You're a liar. You're All, right. A liar. All right, go now. <laughs> right. You go now. Go now. That's you, the word of the day. You go, go now. You, you go, go now. Go now. You go now. Everybody go now. Everybody go now. Everybody go now. Everybody go now. Look at that fat bitch across the street. Everybody go now. That's a, that's a guy. That's. A <laughs> I'll take it. Go now. Everybody go now. Go now. That's the fucking word of the day. Go now. Why wouldn't you go now? Everybody needs to go now. Go now. Go now. Go. Now. <laughs> Fucking CJ and Eric, they're they're making me resort to being a retard. Thanks to CJ and Eric. Hey, hey, CJ and Eric. Hey, the actual intellect of the podcast. You guys are the only intellect of the podcast. Let me explain this to you right now. CJ and Eric and Ron, and Ron is very intellectual. He's a guest, though. Yes, but he's a guest. You guys are the only intellect of the fucking podcast. You're making me... A flat retard. I'm flat up a retard. Making me bring this in. You stupid motherfuckers. You're the only intellect of this goddamn podcast. Would you please show up? Would you please show up? I mean, I can't do this. I can't fucking do this. You guys are the intellectual portion of the podcast. Because I'm not the intellectual portion. You think I'm the fucking intellectual portion? No, I'm not the intellectual you're portion. You're sadly mistaken. What? You're sa- you're sadly mistaken. I'm f- I'm uh, intellect. What is the what the fuck just showed up? I think Thor just showed up. Do you, I think just sh- Thor just showed up? I know we're on audio, but goddamn Thor just showed up. It's Thor. It's fucking Thor. Thor. That's so awesome. Those fucking Thor. And I don't even know what the fuck she is, but she's got a six pack. They're and pretty she hot showed though. up. She Electra. I'm sorry, she's Electra. One pack. Are we in a? Are we actually live? Yeah. This is a podcast. Jesus fuck! I'm so drunk. Um, I'm trying to go through any. Oh, here don't we go. listen to this. Oh my god. All right. Oh my god. I'm kind of pumped about this. Yeah, I'm, I'm pumped. For, I'm, I'm pumped. I'm actually pumped too. Good God in heaven. Well, anyway. Oh, that's a nice little loincloth that girl's got. I can't take it. <laughs> I can't take it anymore. Am I right? <laughs> yeah, I'm about to call it a day. Yeah, we're stupid. God damn it, we're fucking stupid. Are we in a podcast? Yeah, we're doing one right nah, now. Nah, dude, I'm so drunk. Why would you do that? I don't Thor- know. I think Thor just picked up his hammer. He just dropped his wallet. <laughs> <laughs> that's his hammer. It's his hammer. And Electra's got, what's she getting, a staff? Is that is oh that? Oh my Electra? god, she could work my staff all day. She's um, she could work my staff. That was Wonder Woman from last year. She looks like, like last of the geishas. I don't know what she looks like. All right, let me take a picture of what's going on right now. Don't do it. I gotta do it. I can't believe you're recording this. This isn't gonna go anywhere. This is terrible. This is what people like though. I don't know why the fuck people like listening to us be retards. No, they don't. I don't fucking get it. Um, hey, do you want to hear an article? Yes. What's it about? Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Mm. I can't fucking wait for that shit, dude. The, I literally can't it, wait for that. I'm going to watch the shit out of that. The last time that we talked about TM, TMNT. Oh, sorry. <laughs> they waved to the children. <laughs> the last time we talked about TMNT. Uh, the last. Uh, Carl, Hi. Oh, my God. You guys look awesome. Yes, you guys. Are you want to come? Talk oh my to God, us? he's gonna pound his hammer, on us. dude! You look phenomenal. Yeah, yeah. Are yeah. oh, you guys hitting us up first? We're, we just interviewed. You guys can all share one mic. We just. Yeah. What do we all do right. with this? Uh, I don't. You can you can muscle that up. What are you doing? Those are ours. I'm looking for my birthday one. You can do it. You do whatever what you, do you want. What do you mean your birthday one? Do whatever you want. She was a Wonder Woman last year. I was Wonder Woman. Yeah, we know. Why do I know that? 
Because they're creeps. That's weird. Who the, hey. Whoa. Oh, oh my God. Who's this guy? <laughs> hey. <laughs> What's going on? Welcome, Brad Richard Clark. Welcome, to the, welcome to the club, man. All right. Having any fun yet? No. Yes, absolutely. Now that you're here. Now I'm here, the party's arrived. That's yeah. right. <laughs> I'll tell you what, the party's been across the street the whole time. I'm just saying. No, we're not drunk. Oh, I, I swear to God, we're not drunk. <laughs> Last night? No. Today? I got them all. Golden bones. Got hold it. Yeah. Hold it. Everything. Yes. I got I got them all. The only ones I didn't get from you, the ones you didn't do, and those I don't want. I did all four. I, no, there was one that you didn't. There was two that you didn't do. Cover on. Oh, 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 oh. I got you. He's no. so smart. This guy is so smart. You got to stick with this guy. I got to feed he'll, this. I swear to God. I got them all. He'll put you through college. I'll tell you what. There, There is... There's a crossroads I didn't get. Awesome. Why would I need that? I, are you kidding maybe me? I can get it. I, I have them all. Are you kidding we'll talk about it later. Get no, I just want to make sure what are you doing? You're handing out cards? Richard, get out of here. Why, I can't go on the, the oh, my game. God. You guys have business? If you can, but we got Thor here. He's the god of thunder. What? And you're trying. What, you, what are you the god of? What do you guys do? Of? Richard Clark, what are you the god of? Yeah, it's like. Wait, 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 wait. You, wait, Richard Clark is coming on here to talk. No about way, this. no this way. Oh my God! Did you guys see Training Day? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm the police. King Kong ain't got shit <laughs> on me, let alone four. All of a sudden, that's what I thought. So, <laughs> <laughs> that's what I thought. Look at this guy. He just shot two guys before he got here. No, nah, we're good. Is that water? Um, water. 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 Um, let us do these guys first, and then. Absolutely. Awesome, John. Thank you. John Orsack. Cool. Hey, Thor, what's going on, man? Not much. Bang your hammer. Going, Bang it. You look Bang phenomenal. It. Bang your hammer down. Hang on. Hang on. You can bang. Yes, he fucking just banged his hammer. That's what he did. Do you guys bang bang? It would be weird if I just keep taking pictures of you guys while I keep talking. Are you no, sure? Don't do that. No, it's not so weird at all. Pat does that to girls that he talks to, and yeah, like we end up getting kicked out of bars and shit. You guys are gonna have to all share that mic. I know sometimes people get slapped around, but. If they're willing, go th- for it. If they need to do the slapping, it's you, Thor. Jesus. That right. guy's jacked up. <laughs> this guy's no beat. idea. Awesome, guys. You Some guys. people like getting hammered. What so, can I say? Oh. <laughs> I hate getting hammered. I like it. I'll yeah, take it. Somehow I don't believe you. Yeah. <laughs> Nor should you. So who are you guys? No, no, our listeners can't hear who you are. We have Thor. We have Domino from X-Men. And then we have She. From Billy Tucci, she, and it is my twentieth birthday. Oh. Happy birthday! You want well, a drink? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Who's, who's got birthdays? Who's got birthdays coming up? Birthday. Who's got birthdays coming up? I got a birthday coming up. I got a birthday, birthday coming up. Coming up too. Oh, May fifth, May seventh. Woo! Party on, man! Party That's on! Awesome yeah, guys, yeah. you guys look amazing. Yeah, you guys look Who good. else have you guys been in the past? <laughs> <laughs> you should just hit people with your hammer. <laughs> um, I did that earlier. It was actually pretty funny. Did you guys go to the depot? <laughs> yes, we were at depot for a few hours. We had us. We had a lot of our other colleagues there dressed up as uh, we had Chick Cap. We had one of the assassins from Assassin's Creed. Very we cool. have Deadpool is actually one of our third founding members of our team. Two Spider-Mans. What? what? Classic black and black. And black. Wow. Classic. That's weird. African-American. <laughs> Let's just be politically Sorry. correct Sorry. if we're going to talk about Spider Man. Oh, okay. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. We guys. had Black Widow. We had one of our friends dress up as Tinkerbell for the kids. That's cute. Which was pretty cool. Yeah, it's nice. Very cool. Awesome, guys. Yeah, we got a whole crew of people. Um, What's Albany your Comic Con coming up June 15th? There's going to be, what, 12 of us so far? Yeah. 12? Wait, 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 wait. What? Yeah. Twelve we a, people? We have twelve people in our team. What the fuck? Yeah, all What's I is blink because the new X Men movie's coming out, so I will be painted pink. Be I'll take color. I'll take it. Yep. Wait, 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 what? I'm gonna be there as X twenty three. Oh. What the fuck? I'll propose to you then. So what the fuck the rest of the twenty twenty made She'll have custom made claws, and we're trying to get 22 more clones to work with her. You guys are awesome. <laughs> we're going, That's we're awesome. going with what we got. What, what, the next, what is the next 20 people going to be? Um, well, we got Cable. We've got Deadpool. We got Havoc, possibly Iceman. Um, two different people are interested in cosplaying as Rogue. We have Jubilee. We have... Oh, my God. Yeah, That's awesome. 
That's awesome. Well, we're going to be there. I'm so going to go. Sure I'm going to go just to see that. Absolutely. Just to yeah. see that. Um, what, what's the name of the group you guys are with that you do cosplay well, through? Using, the name we're using now is we're calling ourselves the Exiles. That's awesome. Based off the comic book. Um, we had a joke that we came up with and we're actually using it as a rule now where you cosplay variations of the costumes, of the outfits, the characters. Because in the comic book Exiles, which was done, written by Judd Winnick and done by a lot of artists, including our friend Mark McKenna, um, there's variations upon variations of characters throughout the whole series. So <laughs> kind of embracing the multiverse, <laughs> like I guess. You guys are awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Side, hey, just go nuts, and if it works, run with it. That's phenomenal. You guys are awesome. Thank you. You guys keep it going, man. You guys are you guys are what it's all about. Do you, do you guys have like a Facebook or uh, a dot um, com or actually, something? Actually, the end of the week we're gonna. Oh, try you just to throw us these? A, did you uh, group page. Do you have these in one of your pouches? Yeah. yeah. Put it in your pouch. Yo, put that in your pouch. No, say that in front of people. What the fuck is That's wrong? That's the thing about these military God. cosplays: Black Widow, you know, Domino, yeah. pouches, pockets. That's right. The, the thing I miss the most right now: pockets. Uh, what? You got like the. Uh, yeah. That's all right. Pouch. You don't need pockets. Po- Listen to me. You don't need pockets. Don't, don't put need- too many things in her pouch. You don't need pockets. You're I've been fucking carrying no tons of her. You're doing fine. You're doing. I'll carry all your books at Comic Con. We'll carry Every, everything. You if you want me to carry us, your we'll staff for you, I'll do it. Yeah. I don't give a shit. Walk around like your little man. Just slave. find us. We'll be right here. We'll carry everything. Right, I'll you give you shit. Look, wipe your butt. No, I'm kidding. That's disgusting. That's disgusting. Oh, yeah, yeah, I got no, whatever you need. Oh, look, I got it right now. You need me to cure cancer? I'll cure cancer. I swear to God. Awesome, guys. Damn well try. Guys, thank you so much. Awesome. Thank you. Do we shake your hands or do we like fist bump? Nice you guys look nice too, way too cool to like nice shake hands. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's take more pictures later. So boom. We're gonna be. That was awesome. That was awesome. Super famous. What's up? You guys want to take a picture? I'll I would love to. I would definitely do. I, I was thinking about that all night. Oh, sorry. No, that's all right. He no, wants get in there. Get, you you get in. Me you too. get in there. <laughs> no, don't be a dude. Do, don't you apologize. You guys ready? I yeah, can yeah, try. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah, yeah. Awesome, guys. Thanks. Tell me if you like it. If Give not, this guy. He's technological. I'm, I'm, I'm actually. Yeah, retarded. he's, he's. I'm actually. mildly retarded. I don't know what to do. Yeah, I'm with you. All right. <laughs> I'm with you. Yes, Thor. It's so cool. You want to get in there with no, them or no? Go, 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 go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, 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 go. I didn't know. She get in there. You guys were too good looking. Oh, she looks so good in there. Look at Ready, her. Ready? Smile. I think I. D- wait, wait. I took it. Let me take it one more. Perfect. You got two in there. Two for the price of one. No, you stay in. Thank you, guys. You stay in. That was phenomenal. Thank you very much. Yeah, no problem. Right. Nice to see you guys. Don't, don't, guys. S- don't slam your, your your hammer in there too hard, guys. Don't slam your... <laughs> slam her hammer. I got to take a leak so bad. It's Just like piss in my mouth. <laughs> Are we on air? Yeah, we're Can on. Can you pause it for five seconds so I go pee-pees? No, you keep going. Oh, my this God. This cup is getting very bad because we're wasting alcohol. Dude. We just uh, we just met a couple of very, very cool people. Is that any of that in recording? Everything was recorded. I'm so drunk. <laughs> I'm, I'm literally the drunkest I've been in a very fucking long time. Um, That was awesome. Mm. Uh, So who would you... What, What's your pick? I, I, I since last year I've been wanting to bang. What? What? I, say, uh, what do you mean? What's my pick? Shut the fuck up! I'm not. I'm not getting sucked into your shit. Listen to me. Listen to me. Left or right? Hi. How are you? How are you? Hi. Welcome to the Geek Culture Podcast. Left or right? Stop it. You Shock and right. You stop it. Shock and right. Are you trying? Is this whole thing just to get me? Is you being suckered in? <laughs> What's up, guys? This is Tom from the Geek Culture Podcast. We're back. You want to put uh, you can put your headphones in, Pat. We can uh, we can come back. You just came back from a a urinary break. Yeah. Uh, you're an adult. <laughs> That's good. Are you good? You don't make sure make sure you don't pull his headphones out too. I'll pull them out. <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> All right. Uh, and we're here. Um, do you want to introduce yourself? Tell us a little bit about yourself, and uh, everybody will learn a little bit more. Okay. Hi. My name is Joe Orsack. I am a comic book artist from Syracuse, New York. Uh, I'm here visiting uh, in Boston Spa today at Free Comic Book Day, having some fun with one of my all-time heroes, Joe Sinnott. All of our heroes. It's phenomenal. 
When I was 11 years old, I was reading a copy of Journey into Mystery featuring the mighty Thor and l looking at the faces that Joe drew, it dawned on me that this was my favorite artist from my treasure chest comics that I received at parochial school. Uh, and Joe did all of the historic stories, the f lives of the famous people and sports stars. And I realized at the age of 11 at that moment that, hey, I want to draw comics too. And that was where it started for me. Well, Joe, you beat me in my first question and asking you what was the biggest influence of your comic career. But, I mean, <laughs> yeah, you got it. There you go. That's that's absolutely phenomenal. Um, well, you've worked with you've worked with uh, what's the name of the comic the comic group that you've uh, you've been published under? Okay, well, uh, I have had sports comic books published by Magnum Comics, which later became Stellar Comics, and uh, with Joe Sinnott doing my inking I have done books on Brooks Robinson and Mickey Mantle and Duke Snyder and I've also done a comic book about Shaquille O'Neal for Stellar Comics what? really? <laughs> Yes. Pay no attention to him, Joe. Don't worry. <laughs> he's, he's, a, he's the wild card. Do I not see, listen to him. I hear your name drop, and I'm like, did you say Mickey Mantle? That's right. Exactly. Wow. That's awesome. What did you do for Mickey Mantle? Holy it's the, bo the well, book's I in did, there for free comic book day. Yeah, it's a, it's a book we're giving out for the day. Yeah. And uh, I'm, 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 Picture me as like a first, thing, first time to comic book day. I don't know okay. what that's I'll go. Sorry. I, I love it. Joe, Joe I'm trying to keep Teach this me. a little PG, but sure. I tell you, this guy comes across the street, and all of a sudden, he's Mr. <laughs> so Wildcard. Um, so I'll tell you what. Mickey Mantle, what'd you do? <laughs> okay, I did the, the penciling on the backup story and the first issue, which is the story of Sibby Sisty, mm -hmm. inked by Joe Sinnott, and I did the cover art. Uh, most of the cover is a photograph, but I did uh, a, a portrait of Mickey Mantle as the inset art, and I did the back cover art. And then for Mickey number two, which I think we only have one or two copies left, yeah, yeah. Uh, I did the uh, I did some of the penciling in the book, and uh, then for for the Brooks Robinson comic book, I wrote and penciled the book, and Joe Sinnott did the inking. Mr. Joe. So um, when I was 11 years old, it never would have dawned on me that someday I would not only work with Joe Sinnott, but to get to know him as a person and is a good friend yeah he, he's really great he is he's, he's an awesome guy <laughs> definitely he came out, remember he came out i was hit by a car i was hit by a car oh and no it, it so oh, he's an God. awesome guy he's a really laid back guy i really like joe Sinnott. he you know you were you were talking i was i interviewed him yeah he's a yeah. really good guy he's, he's really the best um and by the way he's very talented he, by the way, yes, he is. Spot and he's still he's still drawing at the age of 86. Phenomenal. He's doing that Spider-Man comic, too. Yeah, it's yeah. Uh, written by Stan Lee, which is absolutely yes. incredible. Um, what's the most rewarding thing that you've done thus far? And I'll tell you what. Uh, I This came to me just literally off the top of my head. Is In those Mickey Mantle comics that you've done and, and all the ones that you said are kind of on the back burner, um, those are extremely realistic drawings. Yes. Do you find it challenging to draw realistically versus comic cartoon drawing as far as penciling, inking, the whole nine versus a realistic drawing? Like to make somebody look like themselves, not necessarily a comic portrayal of them. Right. Not a caricature, but more Absolutely. of a portrait. Like to, yes. make, to make a portrait. Um, what's your training behind that? Have you always been like a self-learner? Like yes, definitely a self-learner. Uh, I never really took formal art training. My mother is an artist who never really developed her uh, skills uh, business-wise. You know, she's very talented but never made a living at it. I'm the only one in the family to actually make a living as, a, as an artist. Sure. That's, that's absolutely incredible. I find, uh, I find a lot of the... Did you, the did you go to college? Yes, but my major was advertising, copywriting, and English Nothing literature. To do with art. Nothing to do with art. I worked through college working for the uh, Daily Orange newspaper on campus. So you just practice on the side? Uh, well, I, yeah, I just practice on the side mm -hmm. growing up. Uh, I made my first presentation to a comic book company, which was Charlton Comics. I did that in Where, uh, Charleston Comics? Charleston Comics in uh, Connecticut. Uh, they, uh, they don't have anything. They don't have anything going on now. This was this was back in the 1960s. 
and uh, they definitely don't have anything going on no. now. Well, maybe the fuck is Charleston Comics? <laughs> they right? they've done uh, quite a quite a few significant comics prior to though. Yes. Tra- yeah. Um, what are some? Of the, I think he might be genius. You've heard of no, Charleston no, Comics? No, He's true. heard of Charleston Comics. Everybody's heard of them. You're just an idiot. Is he heard of Charleston friend. Comics? Charleston yeah. Comics. They. What's they, your name? Joe. My name's Pat. That's <laughs> <laughs> nice me. <laughs> I'm sorry we didn't have our interview when he wasn't here. No, shut up. <laughs> shut up. Joe loves me. Don't fuck so, so we Charleston Comics, what the fuck? Where, where, They've what? done Hot Rod. Can... They've done a, a bunch of old, you, you really think How of. How smart is he? They, they did Blue Comics. Beetle. Yeah, they're, Blue Beetle? I have Blue yeah, Beetle number one. Got Blue Beetle number one, this guy. That's what I'm saying. So yeah. there's a lot of old classics that uh, that they have uh, done prior to. So it's, it's iconic. Like, yes. you, you think of the big two. They were almost the launch pad for the big two. It's yeah. it's really no, what they kidding. were. They were they were the the predecessor for the big two. Really? It's many of the old independents, as so were, they are the predecessor to the big two. Back in we, those days, we had Marvel, DC, Dell, Archie, and Charlton. There we go, and that's it. Awesome. You learn something new every day, Pat. I am learning. Thanks for coming on the podcast. <laughs> Thank you for teaching me. We'll see you this later. Is why you're <laughs> we'll this, see this you later. This podcast is actually about teaching me. <laughs> I, I, I just woke up actually this morning. He's a bit of an idiot. I love him though. I, no, I do love him. Um, no. I'll tell you what. What's the best advice you could give to uh, a promising new creator in right? I'll tell you what. In writing, artistry, or eh, anything within within the comic book realm. Well, I think the first thing I would do is make sure that you uh, don't suck. Well, I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> I just study, did a pack. Try not to suck. Study the basics like anatomy and perspective. I'll and study that anatomy all night. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> as some ladies walked by just as I was saying that. <laughs> did you that. know what podcast you were coming on? <laughs> no. John didn't give you the heads up. We're trying up, to pick up chicks. Listen to me. I'm single and I'm trying to pick up As this old lady was taking a picture of us uh, as she was I'll driving stop. by. I'll take it. We'll blow your face I'll out. Take, <laughs> I'll take it. All right. Oh, God. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, so Okay. So studying... Uh, Figure drawing, anatomy, perspective, getting the basics down, uh, and then learn how to tell a story. A lot of the current comic books seem to tend to be a lot of pinup stuff, and the storytelling is getting lost. You're absolutely It's correct. all about art, you're saying? Like um, like Stan, Stan Lee. I mean, he's amazing. 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 Yeah. He's a creator. You can't, you can't be his art. But how's the story like? Well, the story is very important, but if you don't tell the story artistically, right. then it's hard to follow. I feel like I feel like his latest Superman, amazing artistry. I don't want to say this. It's not like we're that big. It's not like we're that big, and I'm going to offend anybody. But his artwork, Stanley, is an amazing artist. The, the plot line, can I say well, for Superman Unchained? Stanley's a writer. Superman yeah. Unchained. Was that that? Was that back and then? That's Superman that's, Unchained. That's DC. Yeah. Stanley You're dealing Marvel. with the wrong, the wrong. This is why we don't have him on interviews. <laughs> no, but do you feel like do you, do you feel like Superman Unchained was that good? I've never read it. Are you? I have not into read it? it. I'm sorry. Are you never read it? No. Nope. It's, it, it's fucking lag. <laughs> exactly. Something sucks. I'm gonna kill you. Why? I'm gonna kill you. Um, Joe, do you want to tell us about a couple of your books that are coming out or that have okay. already been out for uh, what you're doing currently? Yeah, I'm currently working on my third graphic novel for McFarlane and Company down in North Carolina. Uh, my first graphic novel, written by Douglas Brody, is called Yellow Rose to Texas. It's the story of Emily Morgan. Uh, she was a mulatto woman in 1836, Texas, who played an important role in the uh, battle between Texas and Mexico for independence. And my book is a historic romance novel that features uh, Davy Crockett, Jim Bowie, Sam Houston, uh, Deep Smith, General Santa Ana. And uh, it just deals, it, 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 it took me 18 months to create. Uh, I did all of the artwork, uh, the penciling, lettering, inking, and coloring. And uh, it came out in uh, 20. Oh, I'm sorry. It came out in 2010, and my second book came out in 2012. It's called Virgin Vampires. It's the story of a 16-year-old Bram Stoker and his adventures before becoming a writer of gothic horror fiction. Oh, and my third book is 
In progress, it's the story of John Dillinger called Dillinger, The Untold Story. Very cool. Wow. Now, these are these are extremely large books. I mean, they're, they're fantastic. Their art, their art's phenomenal. I haven't had a chance to read them, or read them yet, but um, detailed. They look they look absolutely incredible. And these they are, are based, on Amazon. They are on Amazon. All yes. right, great. Um, all based on truth. So it's it's yes, yeah. It, it's it's one of those books that you read and you're like, this really happened. So it's it's Bram Stoker. Yeah. Dracula. Thanks, Pat. Dracula. <laughs> Dude, I'm very drunk. Listen, I'm trying to do the best I can. Hey, you're trying, but you Welcome just... Welcome to Geek Shoulders Podcast, where we try to do the best we can. I'll tell you what. We'll leave you with this one. We'll leave you with this one, Joe. Um, if you could live the life and walk in the shoes of any superhero or supervillain that has been created to this day, who would it be and why? Oh, that's a good question. It's a, it's uh, a deep thought question. I don't feel bad if you, if you just give me a rattle off on the top of your head, because I can tell you, I've answered this question... Ten times Wait, what's in my the own question? Head. What's the question? Pat, if you could live the life and walk in the shoes of any superhero, uh, or supervillain for that matter, that has been created to this day, who would it be and why? Wait, wait. Walk in the life of a superhero? <laughs> if you could be a superhero or a supervillain. What does that mean? He's, uh, he's obviously too... Super, no, it is, if you could who be Who would you like su- to be? Exactly. So who would you like to be? See how he turns it on? Yeah, yeah I'm not That's sure. a big question. That's a it big is question. a big question. I'm kind of thinking Captain America because I like his values and his, you know, not really, he's not really super power, but he has the skill. A super heart. A super heart. I yeah. agree. It's funny. I'd say Wolverine. Because you, okay. I like Wolverine. Because <laughs> you don't want to die. With no, all the no, no, shit no. that you do in your life, you just don't want to die. No, Wolverine's <laughs> got, you know, he's got heart. Wolverine's got heart. Uh, I believe, uh, I believe Joe Sennett said uh, Captain America. Somebody, I think super, uh, I'm surprised he didn't say Benjamin Grimm, the thing. Oh yeah, oh, that's a good that's one. His, it was between. That's his favorite that's character. A good one. It was between the thing and Captain America. Yeah. is really what well, it was. But yeah, absolutely. But uh, hey, sir, it's been an absolute oh, he's pleasure. Going. My You're pleasure. Leaving? He's got more books in. to sign. I got more books to sign. Books I got to some. Sign. I got some. Do you do any sketches? And, uh, I haven't done any sketches. I've taken a few orders to do sketches before Albany Con. I will be a guest there. You will. Uh, yes. Yes. What is uh, that? The uh, June, 16th? Se- June 17th? June 15th, I think. 15th. I like that yeah. we all don't know, really I'm know. Go the with you. <laughs> this guy is awesome. I love this. We'll be there. We He's will so be there. He's Hopefully. The out so now guy. you know if you're there, avoid this guy. Okay. Just shut, right. up. <laughs> Just shut up. I'll be less drunk next time. I don't doubt. So. I doubt that. Uh, but, uh, Joe, not. thank you so much for being on the podcast. Uh, uh, no it was an absolute pleasure talking to you. And, uh, if there's any other websites or uh, your own personal that you'd like to plug, please do so. Okay, well, jorsak.com, J-O-R-S-A-K.com. There you go. Get it, man. And, hey, thank uh, you. Get it, get it. Thank you, sir. And uh, I'm sure we'll be seeing you at the uh, Albany Comic Con. I hope so. Very good. All right, thank get you, it. sir. Bye. Okay. Thanks, everybody. We're just signing out. Look at that guy. Hey, have a good night, man. Hey, we're signing out from Balsa Spa. Feeling it? I'm feeling it. Feeling? I'm feeling it. We're feeling good. That thing is like, uh, so it's it's fire. That thing is fire. So hot, it's fire. Everybody, we're taking it out. It's fire. It's hot. So it's so hot. It's fire. Welcome to the, welcome to the call. Creepy ass shit.